Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Now, between September 14th and September 21st, some Nigerians will be going over to the United Nations headquarters in New York, and that's to protest. Now, why exactly are they protesting? They say they are coming together to demand for the abolition of the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria and for a determination of a referendum in Nigeria. Um, they're basically saying that they're coming together with other minority groups in Nigeria uh, to make sure that their voices are heard. And to speak on this, we've invited the spokesman of that group, Ninas, uh, Mr. Maxwell Adeleye. Good morning, Mr. Adeleye. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good morning. I want you to tell us a bit about this group, you know, that you have constituted and what exactly is the aim regarding this planned protest in September? Okay, uh, yeah, let me quickly correct you. Uh, the Niger Nigerian Indigenous uh, Alliance for, for Selective Determination Inners is not a new group. It's a product of 21 years, so uh, let, let that be quickly noted. Uh, I, I will not be. We will. Uh, we will not be their body uh, strategies uh, uh, in public, and uh, so the strategies we have uh, designed for the towards the successful uh, 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 toward uh, the, uh, the actualization of our plans uh, at the opposite in front of the United Nations General Assembly in. Uh, in September is uh, who better be reserved to ourselves. However, uh, the objectives of the one million march is to uh, let the world know what is happening in Nigeria, to protest for the uh, abolition of the 1999 constitution, which we have uh, successfully exposed to be a fraud against the people of the southern and middle belt of Nigeria and to uh, demand for a referendum so that the people can decide on their sovereignty. Those who want Yoruba nation will decide. Those who want uh, the Afra nation will decide. Those who want to say, who want one Nigeria will decide. Those who want resolution will decide and the majority will carry the vote. So that's the essence of uh, the power to, the power belongs to the people and the people are the makers of government. So the people should be allowed to decide. And this is not a, a, a big thing, it isn't a big deal. It's what the, the, the people, our uh, founding fathers rely on this uh, same right of self-determination to, right. to fight for the independence of Nigeria from the British colonial master. It's a right, it's an inalienable right, uh, which uh, we, uh, we want the whole world to prevail on the Nigerian government to grant the people of Nigeria. So what we want to do is that we want to we are working towards taking back our sovereignty. All right, Mr. Adele, I, I want you to speak um, on, you know, it seems like a, a certain part of the country is excluded from uh, this conversation. You've mentioned Southern and Middle Belt, uh, you, know, you know, in your speech. Um, do you, does your group represent just, you know, the Southern, Middle Belt and, and uh, Southeast, or does it represent exactly. every person who... Exactly. It's an umbrella body for the uh, group. Uh, Nigerians, those of us who believe that. What, uh, what about the, the north? The what about what about the Arewa um, uh, uh, part of the country? Don't you put them in the? Don't you give them also a place to be aggrieved? If no, necessary. No, no, no. The the, the is an umbrella, is the umbrella body for 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 the people of the south west, south east, south south and middle back part of Nigeria. <laughs> Those, the, the, that, that's what Nina stands for. Yeah, but but it's the name Nina is it means Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination. Um, so why is it just for those parts of the country like you've mentioned? The last two words, or the, or the, comp, the last compound word, self determination. Yeah, it is the people from the southwest, south east, south south, south and the middle belt that are agitated for self determination. Our brothers and sisters from the other parts. Said they are okay. The state of should remain. So it's not an it's not an organization for everyone. It's an organization for people that want self determination. It's not for everyone. Quote me again. It's an umbrella body, umbrella body for people that want self determination. So the people from other parts, which you said we 
we should why should we come why are we not considering uh are not demanding for self-determination it seems to be okay with the situation of things and they want the central coast to remain okay, so it is people from the south south southwest the yoruba part of nigeria who are now clamoring for uh an independent yoruba nation uh the people from the, uh, the southeast uh, and part and partially south south who are clamoring for the African nation there's also the something called the Arewa. Who are, who are totally aggrieved with the way they have been treated. Their people are being killed, slaughtered like cows. And you had what happened last weekend in Just. You had everything. So the people in, in Ofagatui, I mean, people from Benue State, people from Plateau State, people from Nasarawa State, people who do not, who can, who can no longer go to their farms. These are the people that are, we are talking about. Okay, there, there is those, of course, uh, the, I, I believe there's also the Arewa Republic uh, who are also seeking self-determination. I don't know if you're aware of that. Um, but also, uh, share, share with us, you know, why the United Nations General Assembly? Why is that the direction that you, uh, Ninas has ch chosen to take? Uh, you know, if you, if you look at the independence of South Sudan, you, uh, you will realize that it was the United Nations who, con who conducted, or let me say supervised, the freedom that led to the amalgamation of South Sudan and to be um, we hope that you know you have a better network so you can of course continue this conversation. Uh, we're speaking this morning with Maxwell Adele here from uh, NINAS. It stands for Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination who have uh, spoken of a planned uh, protest at the United Nations General Assembly in September. And of course their protest is to speak with regards uh, the you know, call for self-determination and the end of the 1999 constitution which according to him has he has said um, is a is a fraud. Um, um, yes, I, I like that you mentioned that because there, there are actually secessionist agitations in every part of the country. Yeah. It's just that the conversations around Biafra Republic has been so loud and so forceful that it seems like it's only, you know, the Southwest. The, the Arawa Republic um, conversations have been coming up. You know, we've been hearing about that. So mm -hmm. we need to clarify that. Yeah. Secessionist agitations are not just for the Oduduwa Republic or for, um, or for well, like, well, well, I think like he said, uh, like he said, you know, I think he, he's also pointed out that it's just for those who are seeking, you know, self-determination. Um, and, you know, that's the reason I had to kept throwing that question back at him. You know, if, if um, there is a group from the North who also why wants, you know, self-determination. Exactly. Why would you open your doors for them also? But hopefully we will be able to reconnect with Maxwell at delay, you know, and get uh, some clarity on some of these questions, um, you know, and um, what would likely happen in, in uh, September. Um, Ms. Adele, can you hear us? Okay, great. All right, so, so the next um, that I want to speak of is, um, who, who do you feel Ninas represents? Do you have, you know, concerns that there's also a large population of Nigerians who aren't necessarily interested in self-determination? Um, uh, thank you once again. I, I am very sure that uh, you, you, you followed. In fact, I am aware you followed because your reporters uh, always uh, cover our uh, protests and uh, rallies for self-determination in the Yoruba, in southwest part of Nigeria. Uh, so uh, I'm sure you, your, your reporter your was at the Badon. Your reporter was at uh, uh, Oshobo. Your reporter also covered the rally in Adwig, the Akure. And even the, the one that was bought by the Nigerian police in Lagos, uh, I'm sure your reporter was present. So you see that we are not just speaking for ourselves. We represent the people. We speak for the people. This is not a political rally. Where we pay, people are paid to attend. This is not a political rally where people are paid to wear T-shirt. This is a movement of the people. This is a movement that people are donating their hard-earned money to funds to support. This one has no political agenda. It has no selfish agenda. It is a it is a it is a movement of the people, being 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 being, being led by the people and being pushed by the people. It is a movement. For the people to take back their separate from who are jacked. It is a people for the capital from the of the unfortunate system we have in Nigeria. People are being slaughtered like cows. People do not no longer have rights to live where people don't.
things that have been strangulated and turned to a privilege. That is what we represent. Uh, who um, would you say uh, you know has hijacked, like you've mentioned, uh, the Nigerian nation? Look at look at the look at the constitution of Nigeria. Look at the constitution of Nigeria. It was said we the people. Who are the people that wrote the constitution? Where was the referendum edge? Where 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 where, 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 where did you ever witness a? a a, a town hall meeting where the uh, the constitution of Nigeria was uh, was uh, was tabled before what they said. No. So it's a it's a, it's a fraud against right. the people. And now we are saying no, enough is enough. All right. Let's then, now let's, let's also get you to speak on. Yeah, Ms. Adele, I, I want you to also speak on the leaders of uh, Ninas. Who are the people who are you know the forefront of this movement? Um, can you share a little bit about them? Like I told you. Like I told you, Ninas, Ninas is, a, is a collaborative platform. Ninas is a collaborative platform. It is an umbrella body of the people from the south, 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 east, south, west, and the middle belt. Uh, so I didn't use the word North Central. I specifically said middle belt. Now, in this Yoruba part of the Yoruba nation, in the Yoruba, uh, uh, in the Yoruba nation, that is um, uh, Emeritus Professor Banji Akitoye. Who is also the co chairman of NINAS. Professor Banji Akitoye, you all know him, is a renowned historian and a member of the Senate in the Second Republic that is 1979 to 1983. Then, uh, the, the North, in the Middle Belt, we have Yusuf Uturaki, he's the leader, coordinated the Middle Belt uh, uh, re, uh, region. Then, in the, in the Southeast and South South, we have uh, Barisa Tony Nadi, who, who is representing the Luan Ninja Congress. Luan Ninja Congress is a, is, a, is, a, is a platform coordinating the South, South, and Southeast under Ninas. Then uh, the former Minister Vice President of Nigeria, who be to work with, uh, is there. Then the, the Constitutional Force Major, which back, formally battered Ninas in December 2020, was signed by 127 people, including Barista Chief Nia uh, Uodo, the immediate past President General of Ohana Indigo. So Ninas is not just uh, uh, in the Southwest, uh, we have Professor, the Emeritus Professor Adeku Koyi, it's a, a signatory. Uh, so it is not just a, a, a platform of people without uh, means, it's not a platform of people without, uh, without character or without honor or without integrity. Hello. All right. All right, um, Mr. Adele, I need to ask you details about this planned protest because in the press release that you put out, you said that it's going to be a one million man match. Um, are these Nigerians that are already in diaspora, Nigerians that are already in New York that are coming out for the protest, or what's the plan for the mobilization of these people that you say are going to be up to a million protesting opposite the United Nations General Assembly in New York? Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, the, like I said, I'm not going to, it will be stupid of me telling you our strategies on it. And uh, however, uh, mobilization has begun, and uh, I can assure you that the protest is a, is a, is a we don't want to, to even use the word protest, it's a march, a peaceful march in front of the United Nations General Assembly, and it's going to last for 10 days. It will be, it's going to last for 10 days. The Igbo people, the Hausa people, I'm sorry, the Igbo people, the, uh, the Thief people, the uh, what is it, uh, uh, the job people, uh, the Ethiopian people, the Yoruba people, uh, the Uda people, the Gala people. Mr. Adelaide, Mr. Adelaide, I just, I just simply need to know how you know Nina's plan to coordinate a million people. That's why I need to find out. I Are they people? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you our strategies. I'm not going to review our strategies. It's not. It's not a strategy. It's are these Nigerians in diaspora? Are you? Do you plan to fly people who support your movement from Nigeria to the U.S.? What is the plan? It's not necessarily about strategy regarding the coordination of. I mean, saying a million—that's quite a, a, a lofty amount. So, what exactly is the plan to get a million people to the United Nations General Assembly to protest in September? 
you see, you see, asking me about our strategies. Do we want to move people? It's part of it's a strategy. Right. So I'm not going to talk about that. But you just push out. All right. And see what happens. Mr. Adele, All right. If there is people from Northern Nigeria who believe that they also seek self determination, who believe that they, you know, also, you know, agree with, uh, you know, the the cause of Ninas, are they welcome to join? Everyone. Everyone who believe in the struggle for self determination, peaceful self determination. We are not party to uh, violence, uh, disturbance of public peace. Uh, carry, I mean, we are not part. Of, we are not. We are not involved in that peaceful self determination. But you see anyone who is coming, who is constituting new sounds of violence on the street and claim to be a member of Minas or and a member of an affiliate group of Minas. That person is not one of us. All right. Another okay. thing that I, I want to ask. Another thing that I want to ask. Okay. I've seen a I've seen a response from right. uh, the Middle Belt Forum. Uh, the Publicity Secretary Dogo Isua saying that they are not aware of any planned uh, protest that involves the Middle Belt Forum. Um, how do you respond to that? And also to quickly mention um, Niawodo, who is a former president of uh, Ones and Debo. There's a new president of Ones and Debo, Professor George Obiozo. Um, do you think that they are speaking the same, you know, uh, uh, language here? Does uh, Professor Obiozo also agree that Ones is a part of Ninas and a part of this um, ideology? And also, what's your response to Dogo Isua, the publicity secretary of the Middle Belt Forum, who says they are not aware of any of uh, these uh, calls for a protest? Thank you very much. Firstly, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the leader of the Middle Belt in the, in the London in Art, Professor Yusuf Tulagi, not Middle Belt Forum. Even though the current president of Middle Belt Forum was a secretary to our CFM, to our positional force manager, but the coordinating platform for Middle Belt, Belt London in Art, is not Middle Belt Forum. So let, let, that clear, let that be clearly stated. No, please then say that again. Please, 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 can you repeat that? Uh, sorry, Mr. Adele, can you repeat that? I said the, the coordinating platform, the yeah. coordinating platform on that for Middle Belt is yeah. not Middle Belt Forum. Okay. It is not Middle Belt Forum. And the leader of the Middle Belt under Nina is Professor Yusuf Turaki. So not the group you are quoting. So I guess it's a misrepresentation. And uh, if, you walk, if you read Tribune yesterday, Middle Belt Forum. Uh, 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 indicated interest to participate. Go and read the, the Middle Belt Forum already indicated interest to participate in the one minute match. Read Tribune yesterday. It was in the front page of Tribune newspaper yesterday. Okay. So, so as far 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 as it's not, the, it's not the platform for the southwest and the southeast. I'm sorry, southeast and south of under Lena. It is lower than the Congo. Under Pani, the Atoni is nine. So, Oranese is not your very, it's not the ability of Pina. It is lower than the Congress. So, if you want to ask me who is uh, speaking, who is coordinating the south, south, and southeast for this match, it is by Zatoni Nani, who is the Secretary General of Minas. All right, so Mr. Adelaide. So I will not do this. 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 So you refer to Mr. Adelaide. Okay, Mr. Adele, we, we don't know if we still have you there. Line seems frozen, but I, I need to ask him questions about, you know, the motive behind the venue the selection of the venue of this protest. Because you know that it's going to be the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly. Um, there will be, you know, of course, world leaders will be meeting. So why exactly have they chosen that platform? Mm. And what do they, they, they hope to achieve? No, I, I need to hear mm. what exactly they hope to achieve this. Is, is it that they are going to force the hands of these world powers to ask Nigeria to, or impose on Nigeria a decision for them to go ahead and abolish their constitution? Would any other country, or does any other country have the right to ask another country, another sovereign country, to abolish their constitution? Does any other country have the right to impose a decision for them to, you know, put a referendum in there? So, want to know, you know, what exactly is the plan 
for the United is. Nations General Assembly. Are they, are, they, are they planning for them to now impose sanctions on Nigeria if they don't abolish the constitution? So we need to find out from like what they're yeah. thinking. We need to get in their minds and find out exactly what exactly they're thinking um, that motivated this action. Mr. Adelaide, do we still have you? All right, we'll try and see how we can reconnect with him. Um, uh, Sudan um, initially, you know, and using that as, as an example. Uh, so maybe that's you? also okay. okay, Mr. Adelaide. I was I was trying to find out from you why Ninas has chosen the venue of um, New York, opposite the United Nations General Assembly, um, in September. You know, for this match, why exactly the United Nations General Assembly, um, and um, also what what you hope to achieve? What do you hope that you know the world powers present at that assembly might help Ninas achieve? Uh, as a as a media organization. How will you feel if, you're, if you're, you send your cameraman to cover an event and he, he fails to miss the most, impo most important part of the event? So Ninas is just, Ninas is just uh, we, we want to use the occasion of the uh, United Nations General Assembly where all presidents of the world, all leaders of the world, captains of windows, everyone will be present to showcase our grievances to the world so that they can prevail on us and safeguard uh, and help us safeguard our right to self-determination. We do not have guns. We do not have uh, 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 any, um, we do not have ammunition. We do not have guns. We do not have missiles. The only thing we have is our right to protest, right to peaceful assembly. How, effect, we how effective do you think this uh, might be? Uh, do you think the United Nations General Assembly will be able to force Nigeria's hand or force the Nigerian government's hand into... Um, United Nations is an amalgamation of the people. Yeah. The people, the people, they are the ultimate in the democracy. The people are the government. So when they see the people, when they see the crowd, they will know. Just wait and see. When they see the crowd, the Igbo people, the, the, the Middle Bear people, the Yoruba people, the young people, when they see them in their thousands coming from all over the world, so for the purpose of this rally, you will be amazed. Just watch out. Just watch out. I'm, I'm, I don't want to talk too much on this issue. Just talk. Just watch out. All right, and um, and you know, and then also, you know, is, is there other ways that Ninas has planned to, you know, achieve its uh, goal internally um, here in Nigeria? Um, without having to go all the way to New York. Okay, if you if you if you if you, if you can uh, do your research, uh, issued a I mean declared a constitutional force my job in December 2020, December 16, 2020, and we gave the government of Nigeria 120 days to start the process of uh, drafting a new constitution for Nigeria. After the 120 days, and after the 90 days, we 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 pressed the button, and your reporter was pressed. I saw your reporter there, where we we the Nigerian government and gave the states in the south and middle west regions of Nigeria 120 days to also make their own moves towards ensuring that Nigeria are as a people's constitution. The 120 days will expire today, today, 16 August. And tomorrow, we shall be having a World Press Conference to address this issue and now start active awareness, active mobilization of the people of the South and Middle West on the need for them to start preparing for a referendum. It's going to be from towns to towns, villages to villages, cities to cities in the Entire South, Southern Nigeria, and the Middle West. Referendum now. Referendum now. We want to do. A, we want to go via referendum, not via violence. So, um, looking at this call for a referendum, do you think that's the solution to the challenges we have in the country? If the Igbos go their separate ways, the houses go theirs. You know, the Yorubas go their separate ways. Do you think that's the solution to the problem? Is it self determination that would solve? all the challenges and make them disappear? Uh, first, let me tell you again, the people, of, the people never even decided that they, they want to be, they, they, want to, they, want to, they want to be Nigerians. We never, there was no time our founding fathers 
said they were Nigerians. It was the British government who merged us together. So you know what we are saying, now let the people decide. The, ref the referendum we, we show, if, 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 if the majority said they will, uh, say they want Nigeria, no, no qualms. If the majority say they, then let the majority decide, let the people decide. It is only a government that is made up of the people that have the legitimacy to lead the people, not an imposed government like we currently have. Okay, so, so Mr. Adelaide, do you think that the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari will grant the request of Ninas for a referendum and an abolition of the constitution? Uh, uh, with all due respect, uh, either quack, either forged or manufactured, the Buhari led administration is a product of the people. And uh, like I said again, the people are the ultimate in a democracy. So they know all over the world, no, no, no leader has ever triumphed against the collective will of the people. Not, no, go, the, the guns, the ammunition, put together, they have never triumphed against the collective will of the people. The people are the mightiest in a democracy. So I'm very sure President Bahamond Ubari bow to the collective will and the wishes of the people of the south and middle bed of Nigeria. All right. That's um, my position, that's my view. The people will decide. There is no leader that will say he does not want people to make to decide. <laughs> people depend. When, right. uh, let me take you to Kogi State. When uh, some people petitioned INEC that they wanted Senator Dilo Menaye to be recalled from the Senate, the people decided that is, that is what we call the referendum. The people decided. All right, finally, um, Mr. Dele, if you can do this in 30 seconds uh, so we can wrap this uh, conversation up. Um, you know, I, I would like that you clarify how much support you believe that Ninas has, because even the IPOB also has people who don't believe in their cause for self-determination. And pretty much same with every other group in Nigeria today that is seeking self-determination. There are still people from the Southeast and from the Middle Belt and from the South-South who, you know, don't agree or don't feel that they are um, a part of, you know, this call for self-determination. Um, do you think that Ninas has that level of support uh, across Nigeria today? One of the essential ingredients that characterizes uh, a, a democratic rule is that the majority decides, the minority, the minority have their say. So there is no way everyone can speak with one voice. We will just be deceiving ourselves. So the majority will have their say, the majority will have their way, and the minority will have their say. Let's yesterday, the, the area of Nogaka for Yoruba land, Ibadani Adam, and does this match, match. And you know what that means. You know what that means. So, so more people will start coming out to endorse the match. All right. We just watch out and see. This is the beginning. We just watch out and see. That I like Daniel Adam has spoken. You just watch out. All right, it's Maxwell Adele. It's going to be an effort making. It's going to be historic. It's going to be historic. You, you will see. All right, Ms. Adelaide, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank you. Uh, we will, of course, uh, set up more conversations with you as time passes. And, of course, uh, till you know, the UN General Assembly kicks off in September. Uh, thanks for your time this morning. It's a player. All right. Stay with us. Uh, we'll take a short break. When we come back, we are going to be looking, you know, outside Nigeria to see the situation in Afghanistan and uh, what lessons must be learned in our next conversation here on The Breakfast. Stay with us.